Hello, we are gonna be trying a lot of new makeup today. A lot of it is lipstick. So this is gonna be a very lipstick swatch heavy trying new makeup video. But let me show you some of the makeup we're gonna be trying today. Okay, now this has been out for a while and I just have not gotten a chance to try it, but this is the Chantecaille Sea Turtle collection that came out for spring. So two, uh, like three pan eyeshadow palettes came out and four lipsticks. I don't know if these are all new shades. They could be because I actually don't recognize these uh, shade names. So they are all in the Lip Chic formula, which is one of my favorites. So we'll be trying those on. I've got the new Jones Road Neutralizer Pencil. I'm curious about this. So I, I think, yeah, I think we'll try that. <laughs> I was on the fence. I was like, do I want to try that? I think we'll try that. Um, I've got Persona Cosmetics new eyeliners. I have Addiction Tokyo um, Glow Sticks, which are a little bit more pigmented than a highlighter, so I thought maybe I could use them as blush. I don't know, we'll take them out and take a look. I have all six of the brand new Clay de Peau Precious Lipsticks. So we'll definitely be trying all of those on. I told you this is gonna be a very lipstick heavy <laughs> video because I also have the brand new Westman Atelier Lip Suede Matte Lipsticks. I think that's the full name. Yes, that's the full name. I have three shades, so more lipsticks. I have the new Merit Signature Matte Lipstick in the shade Maison, we're gonna try that. And I have two new Sicily Lafito Rouge shades, uh, 201 and 45. And yeah, just a bunch of other stuff. Jillian Dempsey, I've got uh, her mascara, which looks really, really cool. I cannot wait to show you the wand. And yeah, just some other kind of random stuff. But I do wanna start with the Sicily new foundation. This is their Lafito Perfecting Foundation. They sent me three shades and I think zero N works best for me. They also sent me one N but I think that one is a little bit too warm for me. So uh, let's start there. Actually, I think we should probably start with the Jones Road Neutralizer Pencil, right? Yeah, let's start there. Okay, so, you know, my lighting is kind of washing it all out, but if you were to see me in real life, I have a little bit of discoloration under my eyes and it's not the purpley blue, it's the more sallow. It's the more kind of like yellowy green. <laughs> All of these colors sound terrible, right? Uh, it's more of like a yellowy green uh, situation underneath my eyes. So this happens to be Fair Peach, the shade that they sent me. We'll see. I mean, I think peach should be should be pretty good for either purpley or green undertones because it's kind of between red and yellow. So we'll see. But it is uh, a pencil. It's much like their uh, concealer stick or their face stick. And it's like a chubby pencil. And I'm just going to... I don't know, I guess draw it on. <laughs> I'm so used to using like a cream or something underneath my eyes, like a typical concealer. So I'm just going to work that in. I have to say that's quite nice. So, gosh, I don't, I think, I hope you guys can see the difference. I can see it because I know what I'm looking for, but I hope you guys can see it. This side just looks a lot brighter and a lot more even than this side. That's quite nice. All right, let me use it on this side. And I'm basically just drawing it onto the areas, like when I look straight ahead, the areas that have uh, the deepest of that greenish <laughs> yellow tone I was mentioning. It's like right, right here. That's nice. I like how easy and fast this was. Okay, so that's the Joan Rose, the neutralizer pencil. Again, I have it in the shade Fair Peach. Quite nice. Okay, let's jump on to the foundation. So this is a luminous matte, ultra long lasting skincare foundation. And I'm gonna start with zero N. I think that is really the best one for me. Let me just show you one N. Yeah, it's actually quite a jump here between zero N and one. Do you see how much deeper one N is? And I just think, I don't know, maybe this will be good in the warmer months when I get a little bit of a tan. <laughs> Here is 0N Dawn is the shade name. Here is the pump. And I'm just gonna pump out a little bit on the back of my hand. I just wanna kinda check out the texture here. It is running a little bit. So it's like a light lotion texture. And I'm just gonna grab a little and I think 
I think it's okay. Their neutral has a bit of yellow in it, and I think for Sisley foundations, I probably should be a cool, or I'm just getting paler and paler, and my cool tones are coming out. I think that'll work though. I think that'll work. Okay, I'm gonna try this Wayne Goss uh, face brush. This is F4. It's such a unique brush. It's oval shaped. It's flat top, but it's like slightly, slightly shaped on the sides. It's not like as rounded as a typical cream brush. It's almost like, yeah, like it's got a flat top. Anyway, so interesting, but it is a fairly dense brush. So I think this will be really good for uh, cream products. So I'm just gonna pick up some of the foundation and work it in. There's a really slight, 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 slight fragrance to this, like barely detectable. I'm using just the littlest bit here. I think the shade maybe is just a little bit too light. Okay, let's dip into this one N. I feel like when lighter shades hit my forehead, they just start to look really chalky and I can't stand that. <laughs> I can't stand it. All right, let me shake up one end. I'm gonna squeeze out a little bit again onto the back of my hand here. And there it is next to zero N. And let me pick up a little bit with the same brush and at least apply it to my forehead. I'm probably like a one N up here and a zero N down here on my jaw. But let's see. I think that looks a little better. I look a little bit less like deathly up here. All right, so I'm like a mixture between one N and zero N. Okay, on first inspection, and again, I just have it on this side of my face. I feel like it's making my skin look really, really smooth, uh, really even. As you guys saw, I put down very, very little. And so I think the coverage is like a medium coverage. You really don't need that much unless you wanna go like full coverage. Um, I like a lighter uh, coverage. So just that little bit I think is fine for me. And I, you know, personally, I prefer like a glowier foundation. But in terms of a matte foundation, this is nice. It is, um, I think they're calling it a radiant matte, right? Is that what they said? A luminous matte is what is on the box. I don't think it's very luminous. I mean, I have dry skin, so take that into consideration. I think it's more of like a velvety matte. Well, let's get it all over my face and then we can make a better determination. Okay, so I'm using basically a mixture of one N and zero N. Just gonna apply that to my forehead. I need just a hint more of the zero N. Yeah, this is a pretty matte finish. I don't find there to be any luminosity or any radiance or anything like that. This is very velvety. Just to compare this with the most recent matte foundation I've tried, which is the Louboutin, uh, the sublimating foundation. That one definitely had a matte finish, um, but that one is, it had just like a thicker kind of application. It's supposed to be very long wear. This is as well. This definitely is a little bit lighter. It's a little bit, um, just a little bit more weightless on the skin, I think. And I think this does a better job smoothing out my skin. That Louboutin definitely kind of sunk into my deeper, my deeper canyons, my deeper lines. <laughs> this one does not, but they both have a similar finish. I would say this one actually looks more matte than the Louboutin. Yeah, this one has a more velvety finish. Oh my gosh, I'm just realizing I didn't put any earrings on today. <laughs> Oops. All right. Let's move on. Let's move on to these Addiction Tokyo Glow Sticks. I have Ember Glow and I have Sober Rose. So here's what the packaging looks like. And here is Ember Glow. Yeah, these are like a glowy, for me at least, a glowy uh, blush. Really pretty. So that is very warm toned. And then Sober Rose, let's see here, is, yeah, much cooler in tone. Yeah, I thought maybe this could be a highlight. This is much more pigmented, especially once I swatch it, versus what I see in the tube here. And this is, can you see that? It's like iridescent. This one's just glowy. This one is glowy and iridescent. It's really pretty. I think I'm feeling more ember glow today. So I'm gonna go with that. I'm just gonna swipe some right onto my cheek here. 
I'm foregoing any powder because this foundation is um, matte enough for me. Um, so yeah, I'm just going in with other products now. And I'm also gonna forego concealer because I have that corrector down and I don't think I need it. Oh, oh, that was easy. <laughs> that was easy, oh, that's so pretty. So pretty, okay. I really love a glowy blush, as you guys know, but I especially welcome it over a matte foundation. I'm not a fan of like matte, 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 like matte on top of matte, basically. I just feel like you just start to look really dried out. That blended out like a dream. I love this shade. It's gorgeous. There is a little bit of that sheen, but I don't feel like I'm wearing highlight on my cheeks. I just love that little bit of glow that it's giving. Stupendous. Awesome, that is so pretty. Now, before I jump too far ahead, do you guys think I need bronzer? I think I'm okay. I think I'm all right. I think because I put that one N on my forehead, I think I look okay. All right, so I'm gonna forego that. I also don't have new highlighter, so we're just gonna keep going. In terms of eyebrows, do I have anything new? Oh, I have something from Thrive Cosmetics. Is this brow? Yes, Instant Brow Fix. So they sent me dark brunette brown, dark blonde. Oh, this is clear. Let me try this dark uh, brunette black. The shade name is Serena, and this is what the packaging looks like. And here is the spoolie, nice and tidy. It's very nice. It's not too goopy, it's not too thick. There isn't too much product. I think that looks good. Okay, that is the Thrive Cosmetics Instant Brow Fix. Let's jump over to the Chantecaille Sea Turtle Eyeshadow Trios. So this one is the cool version. So they have a cool version and a warm version. Look, look at how precious these are. And this one is the cool version. Here are those shades, very soft, really beautiful, but look at that effect, especially with the purple and the middle shade. Like the, the color is very subtle, but I feel like the effect is really beautiful. Very high shine. These shadows, by the way, were made in Italy. So that is the cool trio. Let's open up the warm trio. Oh, look at this guy. These are pretty. I love that deep shade at the end. It looks like it has a little bit of, um, little bit of like an antique gold in there. Ooh, so there is the warm trio. Oh, I really love that bronze color. Ooh, so pretty. All right, well, let's see, how should we do this? I would love to use maybe a couple from each. I think from the cool palette, I wanna use this shade here to start. So I'm starting with this shade, I've got my Refer number one brush. And I'm gonna start on the outer corner and work in. This is such a beautiful shade. Blends out beautifully. I love the subtle satin sheen that it has. It's gorgeous. Look at how easily this is blending out. Absolutely adore that. I'm gonna put one of the lighter shades all over my lid and I guess I'll jump over to the warm palette deciding between these two. I think I'll go with, I think I'll go with the one in the middle. It's a little bit peachier, why not? Maybe it'll kind of bring the cheek in a little bit. I'm going to just use the same number one brush and uh, sweep over my lid and blend into that first shade. And then I'm dying to use this bronze color. I'm gonna use this refer number 12 brush and go into this shade. And I picked this brush, it's like a chubby pencil brush because I want to just place it right here, just deepen up the outer portion here. Not too much, so I wanna have a bit of control, but a typical pencil brush would be too small for this, so. A chubby pencil brush is perfect. I will take a small pencil brush, this is the refer number three brush, and go into this shade in the cool palette, the one in the center, and add it to the inner portion of my eye here, and the inner corner. 
These remind me of, I'm not sure if they're the same formula, but these do remind me of their single shadows that they sell and they have um, like a really beautiful palette that you can put it in, a magnetic palette. I don't think anyone ever talks about the Shantikai like single shadows, but they're very, very nice. Like just rock solid shadows, great for every day. So those are lovely. Let's try, I've got a new eyeliner, new mascara. Let's try the mascara first. Jillian Dempsey sent over their Flick Trick mascara in the shade black. You guys have to take a look at this wand. Look at this wand. Is that not the most unique wand ever? In fact, it's so unique, I'm not exactly sure what to do with it. So I'm gonna go onto her site and do a little research first. Hang on. Oh, it's a two-in-one mascara wand and liner stamp. So that's what's at the end. After swiping on your mascara, use the stamp to push up and define your lashes or to draw on cat eye liner. <laughs> Let's take a look. All right, let me curl my lashes first. Okay, lashes are curled. Let's just apply some of the mascara with the wand. It's so funny to use a wand that's like not at the end. And it's uh, like a lengthening type of wand. You know, it's not like big and fluffy, but it's, it's big. But do you see what I mean? It's a very like plastic bristle brush, which I like, but it's, yeah, it just um, takes a little getting used to using a wand that's not at the end. <laughs> I'm gonna wipe this applicator tip off. It looks a little messy. I'm just gonna show this to you one more time before I use it. So that's how thin it is. That's a side view. I guess I would use this at the base of the lashes as like an eyeliner. I mean, this is generally what I do with eyeliner, so this could become my best friend. <laughs> that is really interesting. It's not as messy as I thought it was gonna be. Um, I think I wiped off a little bit too much product though. If you wanted to do a cat eye, I guess you could just press this. Very interesting. I really like tight lining. I feel like that's the most effective for me. And this, this just did it really quickly. All right, I'm gonna have to keep playing with this and see, but let's try it on this side now. I just got some of my contact lens. This side got a little messy. I'm just gonna use a Q-tip because it feels wet. I just wanna wipe off any excess there. Yeah, that's better. I think I got a little aggressive. I didn't really wipe off the wand before I went in and I just had too much product. Very interesting, very, very interesting. Okay, all right, I'm gonna have to get back to you on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure how I feel about that one. It's fine. It's fine. It works, but I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it's like my new best friend. Oh, I was going to try these Persona eyeliners. I don't really, I don't really need to. All right, next time. I'll save these for next time. Now, let's get on with all of these lips. Let's start with Merit because it's sitting right here and I've got one color. So this is this, their new signature lip in matte in the shade Maison. This is uh, the shade that they sent me. And I believe they have like eight new shades. Of course, I will link to it down below. But these look really pretty. They look like um, like a stain. It's so interesting, this formula. Yeah, it just always looks like a, even their other formula, which is not a matte, but it's a signature lip. It looks like a stain. It's really cool. Okay, let me apply. So there is the shade Maison. That's very pretty. Very, very pretty. It seems... Fairly comfortable, very weightless, no taste or fragrance, nothing like that. Very nice, very nice. I'm so happy they sent this shade to me. It's like a rose shade, which I'm really digging these days. It's like really cool toned, kind of like deep pink. All right, let me take this off and we'll move on to the Sicily lipsticks. All right, so I've got two new Lafito Rouge shades. One is 201 Rose Tokyo, and I haven't talked about these lipsticks in a while, so just to refresh your memory, it's these guys with the awesome tiger stripe. And here is Rose Tokyo. So these lipsticks are a matte lipstick, but these were probably one of the first matte lipsticks or matte formula that came out. I mean, this was years ago when these came out that I thought was so comfortable. We were just coming off of the liquid lipstick hype, the like craze, and everything was so like 
puckering and desiccating and it was just it was just awful so anyway i remember using this formula i was like oh my god it's like a i have a matte lip but i don't feel like i'm dying from the inside um so okay so again this is rose tokyo so comfortable matte finish totally comfortable feels like a cream lipstick so that's 201 oh i didn't do a swatch let me do a a swatch that's 201 Rose Tokyo. And here is 45 Rouge Milano. Beautiful bright red. There is Rouge Milano. Wow. What a like perfect red. It's perfectly neutral. I don't think it leans orange. I don't think it leans blue. Wow. That is a beautiful red. So that's number 45 Rouge Milano. All right, so those are the two new Sisley Lafito Rouge shades. Let's move on to Westman Atelier, so excited. Okay, so they sent me three new shades and this is not being released until the 27th. They're like previewing some shades on their Instagram site. Um, so I don't know how many uh, shades in total there are. I also don't know the retail or anything. But anyway, these are the Lip Suede Matte Lipsticks. And up until now, Westman Atelier is only um, not only lip product, but only lipstick product uh, were those compacts, the ones with the four stripes in there. They have lip glosses, um, their squeaky clean liquid lip balm. Um, but this is their first actual like bullet lipstick, which is so, so exciting. So let's start with Pip, which is, well, let me tell you, it's a Pip. <laughs> this looks like a perfect red also. I don't know, this has like a little bit of blue in there. And this formula is crazy, crazy soft and smooth and pigmented. That's just one swipe. So that is Pip. Oh my God, it's like glowing. It's like a glow in the dark red. <laughs> There's a like a little bit of a cocoa kind of flavor and scent to this. Very subtle, pleasant. Bullet has, I don't know, can you guys see? The Westman Atelier heart stamped on the bullet. So cool. Okay, next let's try LFG. Can someone tell me what that stands for? I feel like I'm <laughs> missing something. <laughs> Cause I'm like, it's not little black dress, it's LBD. I'm like, what's LFG? It'll probably come to me in the middle of the night. So here is LFG. This is, it looks similar to Pip, but it's more of like a hot pink. Let me swatch a lot more blue in there. Can you see it? Okay, there is LFG. Oh, wow. A super hot pink. How cool is that? What a great, great summertime look with like bronzy skin and just like some highlight or something. So that's LFG. Oh, I think my lips are starting to get stained. Let me put on a little bit of concealer here. <laughs> So scary. And the last shade they sent me is Jerev. This one is a beautiful mauve, nudie mauve shade. I cannot believe how soft these matte lipsticks feel. There is Jerev. Obviously this is probably gonna be the shade that I wear the most. I love it. I love it. This formula is incredible. It's so, it really is so, so soft. Feels like a really thin, lightweight cream lipstick. Wow, gorgeous. All right, so those are the Westman Atelier Lip Suede Matte Lipsticks. Oh, I cannot wait for the rest of the shade range. If there are like more nudes, more like everyday shades, I'll be getting those for sure. Moving on, we have six Clay de Poe Precious Lipsticks to try. Wow, I cannot wait. Let me just show you this gorgeous PR box. Isn't that so pretty? Uh, let me take them all out of their boxes so you can see the product and then we'll try them on. So first of all, I should mention these are refillable. So when you open up the box, you'll have the case and then you'll have the refill. So they're actually packaged separately, just FYI. The case is magnetized and then you just put the refill in like so. And you just press it down, you'll hear a click. And then you can take this plastic cap off and then that's it. So here are the six shades. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
really beautiful like range of reds essentially. I really like one and six. They're like uh, warm and kind of desaturated and all the ones in the middle lean a little bit pink and number two is the brightest for sure. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so these lipsticks, I just want you to be sure because swatching them and from what I've heard, I'm like, I think these are like a very moisturizing lipstick. Uh, they're pigmented obviously, so I don't think they're like a, like a tinted balm or anything like that, but I just think they're a very highly moisturizing lipstick and they instantly adhere for 10 hours of lasting moisture. Okay, so I'm gonna start with shade number one. Oh wow, these are actually really well pigmented. Very moisturizing, wow. Very, very moisturizing. So that's shade number one. Oh, how pretty. Oh, these feel great. These feel super. They have a little bit of a fragrance, that Clay de Peau rose fragrance. Maybe I taste it a little bit, that like rose fragrance. Okay, anyway, <laughs> this is number one. Here is number two. This was that really bright shade or the brightest one out of these six. My lips feel great under this formula. Okay, here is number three. Ooh, pretty. This is like a great everyday kind of red. Not super bright, just a very pretty lip color. So that is number three. All right, here is number four. Ooh, this looks like the lightest, the lightest shade of them all. Yeah, it's like a light pink. Ooh, how springy. That is number four. Here is number five. A bit of a deeper pink. Yeah, this is like a, like a mix between a strawberry and a raspberry. <laughs> And then the last of these precious lipsticks, number six, this is the deepest, most brown toned. Ooh, that's pretty. Definitely the most dramatic. I like this shade. I stand by my original assessment. I like one and six the most. They're all really beautiful. Gorgeous. All right, so those are all the Clay de Peau precious lipsticks. I believe those are the only shades they came out with, these uh, six shades. I mean, they're just stunning. The formula is really, Wow, it's like really something else. Amazing, amazing. Last but not least, in lip swatching today, my lips are starting to get numb, so <laughs> glad this is the last of it. We have those four Chantecaille lipsticks. So let me unbox these. Okay, so we have two blue-toned lipstick cases. So I believe these go with the cooler toned palette. So let's start with these. This first one is Starflower and that is Starflower. And then this one is Coral Vine. So let me start with Starflower. That Lip Chic formula is so good. It's thicker and uh, a bit denser than say like the Clay de Peau, the Precious Lipsticks. Those are much more like glossy. These have like a density to them, almost like a lip mask. So that is Starflower. Gorgeous, gorgeous everyday neutral shade. And here is Coral Vine. This has like a, this has a different scent. Yeah, most of the lip cheeks have like a really subtle kind of, you know, cocoa, vanilla bean, something. This smells different. This smells more, uh, not necessarily floral, herbal, maybe? Interesting. Okay, there is Coral Vine, really pretty. I feel, again, comparing them to the Clay de Peau Precious Lipsticks, uh, the pigmentation is lighter. The Clay de Peau, Pigmentation was really, really bold for such a moisturizing lipstick. I was kind of surprised. These are a little bit more in line to what I think a moisturizing lipstick will have in terms of pigmentation. Very pretty, like a light application. Okay, now let's take a look at the green ones. Look how pretty these cases are. So these, I'm assuming, go with the uh, warmer eyeshadow trio. So this first one is Rosia. That's this one right here. Yeah, these both are a little peachier. And this one is Ginger Lily. So here is Rosia. Oh, pretty. Pretty peach. And here is Ginger Lily. This is a subtler peach. It's a little bit, so hard to tell, it's a little bit lighter than Rosia. Pretty. All right, oh my goodness. That was a lot. That was a lot of lipstick. How exciting though. My goodness, is this normally when a lot of lipsticks come out? I guess so, maybe around Valentine's Day. Before I let you go, let's take a look at this foundation a little bit more closely. I have been filming for close to an hour and a half, so we can get like a, 
a little preview as to how this foundation will wear. Sorry, I'm trying to find a, a decent mirror. Yeah, it de it's a it's a matte foundation for sure. My skin definitely it looks a little bit dry. I think if you <laughs> if you have dry skin and you're not really into matte foundations, of course, this is not one that you're going to purchase, right? The the description of it it says clear as day that it has like a radiant matte finish. Um, I think if you have an oilier skin type and you prefer matte foundations and or you prefer matte foundations, I think you'll enjoy this because it definitely has a very velvety finish, a very, very matte finish. I have some a little bit more info on the foundation in this card. I kind of wanted to develop my own thoughts before, I usually try and do that, develop my own thoughts before I read like their description. Uh, but anyway, because I want to see if I agree. So high coverage, radiant matte finish. I would agree with that. I don't even know if I would use the, the term radiant. I would just say it's a matte foundation. A little bit goes a long way. I would definitely say that. As you guys saw, I did not pump that much onto the back of my hand. And that, you know, definitely covered my whole face. Uh, the foundation is self-setting, no powder needed. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't use powder. Uh, I would have to agree with that. Doubles as concealer. Well, it does have high coverage, so I would agree with that as well. All right. Yeah, the only thing I would not agree with is, is the radiance. Again, I have very dry skin, so I think if you have normal to oily skin, you may find it that it has like a radiant kind of finish to it, or it starts to have a radiant kind of finish to it. But for me, it's matte. All right, well, that is it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Of course, I'll have links to everything down below in my description box. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.